Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to our live stream of Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. We are Meryl Casino Sneed, uh, the unwilling mutant, uh, who is our second try at an unwilling mutant build. I feel like every CDDA stream, really most streams we do, like most roguelikes we do, uh, I feel like we always have like one, at least one early death, and then we restart and we get a, a good distance in. I feel like we do that with most of them. I know we do that with like pretty much every Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup series. Um, but here we are. And uh, so a few things. First of all, this I did actually update the game. I know the last few uh, CDDA games we've done, I've been sticking with the 0.f stable, uh, which was, you know, the first stable one released. There have been a couple of hot fixes since then, and I finally did update the game. We are now in 0.f-2, which is still stable, but it's just a couple of patches have been made to the game so it should be a little better i also changed the font you may not have noticed because it's not um like super remarkably different but if you can guess what the font is uh you win a prize uh yeah someone someone in the comments tom b uh recommended or kind of gave a, an instruction about how to change the font and i figured might as well um i have a favorite font uh, so I thought I would use it. And uh, if you can guess what it is, let me know. Um, and other than that, let's see. So we found, last episode, we played, we found this uh, evac shelter. We know that there are zombies. Um, oh, I didn't mean peak. Uh, we know there are zombies to the north uh, within s viewing distance if we open these uh, these uh, curtains. Um, there's nothing to the south. And we we did use the computer and found that there is a refugee center not too far away. And I think that's a probably a good place to head to. Um, we found, you know, the way to get there via road, but it has to go through a pretty busy town, probably infested with zombies. Although it's good to see that there's like, um, I was looking a little earlier, there's a library here somewhere. There's a hardware store. Uh, there's the library. Uh, we've got uh, Jayhawk and Travis in chat. We were talking a little bit before this started. Geox says a town named Brownfield is a little bit humorous because in zoning terms, Brownfield means former in industrial sites usually polluted. I didn't know that. That I feel like I feel like most of the time when we stream CDDA, people people drop wisdom bombs, and I appreciate it. Um, that's that's cool to know. Um, this character is still pretty young, pretty early. But we have gotten a few... This this character started with zero skills. We've already gotten Fabrication to 1, Survival to 2, Tailoring to 1, and Healthcare to 1 by reading a book. A first aid book. Uh, here in the evac shelter, there is a bit of fresh water. There are a lot of protein bars. And there are some materials, some sheets, some, some blankets and stuff like that. Um, and we were able to make a sling a makeshift sling so we have some inventory capacity now uh specifically about 10 liters of volume um so we're gonna take some things and i i think we're going to head south i don't think there's anything else that we want to make while we're here we made a cudgel so we do have a weapon and i know we could i was talking um a little bit before we started i think i would like this character to embrace uh, melee fighting more than we usually do. The last um, stream we did where we were a bionic build, we embraced, uh, we tried to more embrace the ranged fighting uh, with like a, a, a bow, a long bow. Uh, and I, I'd like to try because we are a mutant, because we are terrifying and ugly, and I think we're going to hopefully get some mutations that will help with melee fighting. Um, I would like to kind of be kind of like a monster kind of build. Not that we're evil, but just kind of like we look Mon like a monster and uh and we should be able to have that capability um yeah so yeah is there anything that we want to make while we're here um we have i don't i don't think there's a good reason to have a bindle as opposed to the makeshift sling maybe i'm wrong about that uh we could still make some clothes that's something we could do we can make a headlamp that's i don't think we need that because we have the night vision uh, mutation. Um, so I don't really think we need a headlamp. I think I'll just add encumbrance. But we want to try to stay more stealthy if we can. Digging stick. Yeah, I don't think we care about that right now. 
Uh, so yeah, clothes wise, what do we need? Um, right now we are wearing a subject suit, which is what we started with. An emergency jacket, a makeshift sling, a fedora, nothing on our mouth. Um, we're wearing briefs and boxers. Uh, so the subject suit, I guess it's just like a thin suit. I don't know. Let's let's see if we can actually make some. Or do we have do we have clothes on us? No. Do we want to make some pants or something? A loincloth? I'm not sure that's worth it. A tunic. A blindfold. Can you put the blindfold around your mouth? No, I think you just need to make a bandana for that. A kefia as the headdress, but we have a fedora. Foot rags, hand wraps. Uh, yeah, those actually, we have nothing on our feet and nothing on our hands. I think those are actually decent things to make. Um, and they just take a minute each. Oh, they do take, they would take all of our rags. Right now we only have six rags and both of those together would take 10. Jayhawk says I would worry the refugee center will be filled with zombies, but it might just have a collection of NPCs and resources. I think it's worth checking. Uh, headlight might be good for nighttime crafting. That's the only use I can think of. Well, we, we have a flashlight, I think. That's why... Don't we have a flashlight? I thought we had a flashlight because that's a component. Um... If I look all around... Yeah, I think we have a flashlight. Uh, not on us, but next to us. Yeah, we, we've got some food. Um, you know what? It's possible that the headlamp, uh, which is, it probably gives us some armor, right? Because it's made with, no, it's just made with rags. It's just made with rags. Um, it's just a bunch of rags and a flashlight on your head. Uh, yeah, it does not give us a ton of protection. It gives us some, although the fedora probably does too. So this is one, three, and two. And our fedora gives us, oh, yeah, less. Okay. I guess we could wear it instead of a fedora. The fedora really does not give us a lot, surprisingly. Um, but we're going to need more rags for all that stuff. And we really don't have a lot right now. Uh, we could try. Where's there more th more rags to be able to get down here? No, I don't think so. I will take those bandages. I'll take that ceramic shard. Yeah, there's a there's actually a bunch of stuff that we should probably be taking here. Antiseptic, really important. Um, the adhesive bandages not as important, but they're very small. Yeah, now that we have, uh, we had left this down here because we had no inventory capacity, but, um, but now that we got some, the dust mask also, let's bring that. I think the emergency blanket is, uh, not, is made of plastic. We can't turn that into rags. I think. Um, yeah, made of space age materials. Uh, no, don't go down. Go up. So, yeah, we could take more sheets off and turn them into rags. We could do that. I guess so. Let's get all this stuff over here. We just don't want to get rid of the ones to the north. Uh, what is, what is here to the right? Uh, I want to sit on a bench if I'm going to craft. So let's, all the stuff, yeah, move. Yeah. Move all this stuff. So I can sit here and craft. Oh, a two by sword. Is that going to be better than a cudgel? 
Um, kind of. It's slower than a cudgel. And it's going to take quite a while to make. I think we're okay with the cudgel. Okay. Oh, antiseptic soaked rags. No, that's okay. All right. Let's make... Let's make that headlamp. Drop the cudgel. Okay. Wear the headlamp. Uh, please drop the fedora. Okay. And uh, I think we will need to uh, disassemble. Use the scissors on one of our sheets. Okay. And now let's make foot rags. And do I have enough for the hand wraps? I do. Okay. Let's wear the hand wraps. Let's wear the foot rags. Sweet. Uh, okay. I think we're ready to head off. Um, we do. We should decide though what we want to bring with us. Um, we'll bring those bird eggs, sure. We don't really need them. I mean, but they they don't they don't take up a lot of space. Uh, we will bring some protein rations. Bring three. That's fine. We will probably end up coming back here. FEMA evacuation pamphlet. Uh, we do want to bring this clean water. Really any clean water. And I think we're okay. Um, there's probably... I think there is more clean water we may want to grab. That's a lot of clean water. We may be a little encumbered. No, we're okay. All right, we got a bunch of clean water on us. We've got some, some protein bars. I guess we could take more of these. There are a lot of protein rations here. I have how many now? Uh, five. That's fine. John, hey John. Uh, I guess the question is if this is a at least a temporary home. If so, I travel light. It's um hard to tell. Uh, we're gonna head. We're gonna travel a little ways because we're gonna be traveling this far south. I'm not sure where we're gonna end up. You know, we may get in a situation where we can't get back here that easily. Um, we don't have a vehicle or anything like that. So I don't want to travel super heavy. Um, but I I do want to bring a certain amount of rations with us. Um, and some medical supplies, which we have. I think we're okay. Oh, um, let's not forget to wield our cudgel again because we dropped it. Okay. Uh, we do see a tough zombie to the north, but it is far enough away it doesn't see us. Okay. And uh, the route, we're I think we're going to head straight south, avoid Brownfield altogether, and we should be able to hit this road. I don't know what's going to be in between, but we'll find out. If we're lucky, maybe we'll find a radioactive site because we heal with radiation. Uh, there's something down here. Um, have we seen that before? This is just like an abandoned barn area. Do we see any items? It's just some casing. Well, this is interesting to see. Uh, we are warm. Um, is there stuff we can take off? What is the warm stuff here? Oh, our subject suit. Oh, our emergency jacket. That's what it is. Yeah, take off that emergency jacket. Well, let me unload that emergency jacket. And then take it off. There are more of these. Um, I'm just going to drop it here. It's just weighing us down, and it's it's too hot. Um, okay. All right. All right. Looks like there's some woods down here. Probably good to travel through the woods, and maybe get our survival skill up more. 
I'll continually check the map. We got a, a swamp, little swamp area. Um, maybe I'll take a rock. I can't remember which one. Oh, yeah, the, these are the forageable ones uh, right there. Plant fiber. Plant fiber is good. We don't really need that stuff right now, though. We're just kind of hoping for, like, oh, maybe we'll find a backpack or something like that. No, don't dive in the water. Well, good to see what uh, deep, dark, deep water is a little darker here in this uh, tile set. We're still getting used to this tile set. It's a blackberry bush. Grim, that's a blackberry bush. Yeah, I think not traveling through the swamp biome is probably going to be better. There's less to forage, um, and it's slower. Ceramic shard. We already have one of those. Okay. There's a groundhog we see. Or plant fiber. Casing. We do not care about casings right now. You know, if we find some guns, we'll probably use them. But um, this isn't like a gun build, like like uh, the uh, like our killer convict was. At least that's not the concept. Wild vegetables. Uh, Jack says, I hope you've learned your lesson about swamp creatures. Be careful. Uh, yeah, good good call. That was just a little bit of swamp. But yes, uh, you're right. I'm not, I was not super used to the, I had never seen that, that frog before. Plastic bottle. I mean, you can see scary creatures anywhere, but I suppose a small cardboard box. All right, we got just a, a clearing here. I suppose that's fine. Flaking rock. Um, okay. Groundhogs running all about. We got another abandoned building down here to the left. I know it's hard for you to see the map because my head is blocking it, but let me tell you. Yeah, nothing... Nothing in here, no items whatsoever. Interesting we have all these abandoned buildings. Um, and they don't show up on the map either, which is interesting. We got casings down here. Another building? Oh, this one's on the map. A carriage house and a horse stable. Maybe we'll find a horse. Would definitely take a horse. Lovely. Can we climb this? Let's take a look at what we see. No monsters. We're not hearing anything. Is that a horse? That's a yoke and harness. Good to good to know. Yoke and harness. Uh, we are getting warm again. Um, I mean, we are wearing briefs and boxer shorts. Maybe that's making our uh, groin area a little warm. No, it's our torso. Our torso is what's warm. I guess it's just the subject suit and the sling. What is this? Horse tack. That's good. Another uh, yoke, yep. A plastic show snow shovel. A hoe. Open the barn doors. Uh, I'm hoping that we'll see a horse here. Although we haven't seen any... F uh, this might be food. Straw. Cattle fodder, there we go. Another yoke. There's a horse. All right, let's... um. Let's see if we can't tame a horse. Grab that cattle fodder. Is it next to me? No, not yet. I want to feed it. Uh, apply the cattle fodder. Place. Right. 
on the horse? Yeah. It seems to like me. It lets me pat its head and seems friendly. Cool. All right. We have tamed a horse. Uh, we just need a saddle. Do we see that anywhere? Oh, horse tack. That's what we need. Yeah. Great. Tack up the horse. Did I do it? Yep, we can mount the horse. All right, let me wield my cudgel again. This is pretty fantastic. There are a couple of horses here. Um, <laughs> uh, Jack says, I am once again asking about the pink trees. I think they're not, until summer, they're not going to be harvestable. You plan to become a cavalry monster. Maybe, maybe. A beast on a beast. Um, okay. Uh, so this is cool. If we find a bag, we can put that on this horse. Uh, let's name this horse since there are multiple here. Um, name horse. New pet name. Uh, all right, here we go, everyone. Well, if anyone had uh, correctly guessed my font name, I would name the horse after them. Um, but what are you going to do? Uh, hmm. Hmm. Let's name our horse after our last, um, I don't remember the name of the actual, like, character that died in this series. Uh, but the last character we played was Jerrica Grand Flores. We'll name it, we'll name it Grand. Grand Horse. All right. Horse, Grand. It does look big with this tile set, so... Uh, very cool. We have a horse. Um, let's see if there's anything else worth getting here. A rein and tackle. Leather bindings to control a mountable creature. How is that? I guess. Sure. Can we use, can we use that as well? What is this? So awesome monthly. Yes, please. I will take that. Okay. Uh, Travis says, all I got is that it's a monospace font. It is a monospace font. All right. So can I equip it with armor? Is that what the tack is? Not the tack, the reins. You need, uh, no, you need a rope to tie in place. That's good to remember. I guess the reins are for if you attach it to like a cart or a carriage or something. Oh, I don't think I actually took it, did I? Or did I? Wait. Rain and tackle. No, I have it. And yeah, it counts as a vehicle part. I'm just going to drop it. Yeah. Okay. Um, is there an openable? This is a chicken coop. We'll get our horse um, soon when we leave the uh, farm area. No chickens. Okay. Tomato seeds, lettuce seeds, you know what? Ooh, it's a greenhouse. Uh, yeah, that's cool. I will take these. I imagine these won't take much space. And those are good things to make. Yeah, no, we haven't seen any zombies here. Wait, are there really that many books there? Look at all these books. Um, that's a lot of books. I don't think we can carry all of them. Although, this seems like it would be a better base than the evac shelter. Especially since there don't seem to be any zombies here. But 
There don't seem to be. Um, but there's farmable land here. It's hard to see in this... It's hard for me to tell in this tile set what is and isn't an item. We may want to stay here. Let's break in. Calcium tablets, caffeine pills. Cargo shorts. Cargo shorts. Um, I would love to get rid of the subject suit. Do we have we don't have anything to wear on our uh top though? If I find something, I will. I may wear it. More books. More books. We definitely want to stay here and read. Oh, we got a hoodie. Bifocals. Uh, we want to take those. A pea coat. That'll be nice in the winter. Cocaine. Sure. More books. Archery for kids. This is a very literary farm. Um, another hoodie. Fit over sunglasses. Oh, they're, they're poor fit. That's too bad. Uh, we didn't open this room. That's a bathroom. Cough syrup, soap. Okay. Uh, Jayhawk says, do you want to look around for a carriage in the carriage house? Yes. Good idea. John says, now that all of this gear, you just need to find a wagon of some sort. Yeah. Maybe we can just be just mobile. Just That'll be our vehicle. We'll just get a carriage. Although I imagine that if we had a horse-drawn carriage, the horses would just, like, die pretty quickly. It sounds like a pretty short-lived mode of transportation. Um, but yes. Yeah, let's get, let's make sure we look at that carriage house. See, although we may, we may have already... This is the chicken coop. This is the stable. Uh, let's open this up. And this is the carriage house. Yeah, we've been here. And there's no carriage. There's no carriage. Just the yoke and harness. No carriage to attach it to. Yeah. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, what is this on the map? Oh, Amigo Scout Tower. Well, that's terrifying, right? Oh, what is this down here? A silo? Yep. So silos. This is a lovely farmhouse, though. It might be really nice to make this... Like, because there are no zombies here... What a lovely place. Is that a greenhouse you just passed? Yeah, we got some seeds from the greenhouse. Uh, Jayhawk says, I would recommend making this the new base of operations and using your horse to bring the supplies down from the evac center. I'm tending to agree with you. Uh, there's still no... We don't have, like, a permanent source of light. We don't have a permanent source of water here, I don't think. No, there's water. There's water right here. Okay. Okay. That works, I think. Um, it's it's a shame that it's not that close to the farmhouse. Is there water close to the farmhouse? What is this also? Oh, that's a bird bath. That's cute. And this, a rotary clothes dryer line. All right. I guess we can use that if our clothes get wet. Let's just take a look around here. It'd be nice if there was a well or something. Oh, and a road that goes right up to it, huh? And it goes right to the refugee center. Although we t we got to watch out for this Amigo Scout Tower. I've never seen Amigo Scout Tower, but it sounds terrifying. 
feel like a farmhouse should have a well. Uh, nice. I must have just missed about grabbing my lunch. Yeah, John. We, yeah, so it'll be really nice to be able to plant here if we want. Um, there is not, like, a farm area here. Just the greenhouse. But maybe that's enough for us. We do have a bucket. I guess I'll grab, um... All right, let's start setting things up in the farmhouse, and then we can do things like start grabbing buckets and things. Um, do we want to set up here on the main floor? The kitchen? I feel like we usually set things up in the kitchen. Let me grab one of these dining chairs. Okay. Um, hmm. Move these books. Move that teapot. Okay. What we got here? What's in here? A fresh pumpkin. Okay, we will definitely eat that pumpkin. Uh, you could store some water in the bird bath. There might be a pump somewhere nearby the house. I didn't see a pump. That would be amazing, though. Uh, the ghee, the salt. Let's take those out of here. Uh, it is currently afternoon. We don't have a watch. Um, do I want to... I get worried about stuff catching on fire if I cook it in the oven or something, but I don't think I need to. Um, yeah, I think do that. Stop. Uh, haul this up. Yeah, I think this this is a fine place to like make our area. Let me open. Okay. It might be nice to read. Let's, um... Let me drop some things. Uh, in the refrigerator, put anything fresh. Anything that, that might go bad. Okay. Um, let's put this stuff on the counter. And then also on the counter, put um, ceramic shard, rock, medical tape, and gauze. Um, most of our water, rag, rock. Uh, I'll keep the antiseptic on me. Most of these protein rations and the cocaine. Okay, and now we can bring stuff back to that kind of hub area. Can you attach yokes and harnesses to cars? If so, you could tow non-working cars with your horses. That seems like they might be a bit heavy, but I don't know. We could try it. Ballist uh, that was Jayhawk. Ballistic Beast says, hey, how about once you get more tools, you can disassemble furniture you don't need. Yep, uh, absolutely. We should do that. Um, let's go, uh, get those books. Uh, are there more books here? Uh, U.S. Weekly? I don't think we care. Whatever, I'll take that soda. Dance, dance, dance. Sushi made easy. And, um, archery for kids, self-esteem for dummies. Nice. We might want to move a bed downstairs so we don't have to go upstairs to go to sleep, although we could. I guess it's, I guess it's a little more role play -y. It's a beaded curtain. I like how just remote this is. Okay, let's... Should we do some reading 
uh, first. Oh, um. I'm going to put all the books over here, although I'm probably about to pick them all up again. Okay. It is afternoon. If we burn... Yeah, we can just kind of read, look at... Or let's survey these books for the rest of the day. And then tomorrow we could... We could always get... It's really not that far from the evac center, and there's nothing in between us. We've got a horse, although we don't have a bag for the horse. I do think we're going to go to the refugee center next though rather than go back to get that stuff because it wasn't a ton of stuff to get um okay cool keep reading this read all these things oh, we have a lot of duplicate books here that's it okay so we can get archery to one food handling to three dodging to one uh, so social to three, and that's really... Well, uh, no, then we can probably get food handling higher. Uh, and there are more books. I just ran out of inventory space. Or, uh, weight. I ran out of weight. U.S. Weekly, Family Cookbook. Okay. Um, use, yeah, okay. Oh, and I forgot the, uh, this guy. There are tubs and toilets here where you can store some pond water, maybe enough for a few days. Um, yeah. And there is an oven, so we can put... I think you can just put wood in an oven. And we there's plenty of fence to break down if we need wood. Although, and, and we're really not that far from the woods to actually chop wood. Although we don't have an axe with us. Does the vet manual do nothing? That's what it seems like. Yeah. Nothing there. You'd think it would. Um, let's get... Um, let's get our dodging up to one. All right, the day is, it's around dusk now. Let's start getting our food handling up. Yeah, it's, now it's too dark. Um, put dance, dance, dance back. Uh, we are very thirsty. Let's drink... Some of our water here. That's on us. That's what's opened. Yeah. And, um... Uh... Get a protein ration? Sure. Okay. And let's go to sleep, I guess. 